Okay, welcome to tutorial number one for our racing game. Uh, for this game, we are a car that's driving around a track, and um, we have these two variables up top, which are the lap timer and our best lap time. I'm actually going to take a little while in our first lap time to show you how this works. 10 seconds. So that's my best lap right now at 11. You can see up in the upper right. And then as I beat it, that's going to update. All right, let's see if I can beat it again. 6.5. All right, I beat it. So I'm using the arrow keys to move uh, the car around. I have the um, the up arrow to go forward, uh, then the uh, the down arrow to stop, and uh, you can actually do some other um, some other interesting things with it as well. But for this tutorial, we're going to go through how to make the track uh, and how to make the car go forward. We're not going to get into any directional changes, so we're going to be going forward in terms of uh, having the up arrow be technically the gas pedal to have it move forward. Uh, then the down arrow will have it stop. Also a couple other things in there to have uh, our car react like a car. So if you let off of the up arrow, it's gonna coast slowly to a stop. And um, if you hit the down arrow, it's gonna hit the brakes. So uh, we will stop this here, reset that, and we'll actually just start up a new game right over here. And uh, we'll just jump right into it. So we'll get rid of our cat. And we will first make our backdrop where we're gonna make the, uh, the track. So I'm gonna zoom this out and uh, we'll, we'll put in a big square for where the grass is going to be. All right. So this little white box in here is my whole playing field, so these are actually on the outskirts um, that you can't even see, but as long as it's all the color of grass, then the whole thing is going to look grassy. All right, we'll use that as our grass color, and now we're going to make the track that goes around the inside here. So I'm going to use the paintbrush, this thing all the way up to 100. I guess I could have typed 100 in, but it's probably more fun to do it that way. And we're going to use a good uh, pavement color here. Let's see. That looks pretty good. All right, so we will start here where our starting line is going to be. Go all the way up and around. I actually went outside of the line there, so I'm going to undo that and try it again. All right, and there's my track. Uh, I want to make this a little bit easier. I can just go around again and make my track a little bit wider. Uh, if we have a really thin track like that, it's we're, we're probably going to need a really small car. But I think it looks a little more, it looks a little bit cooler and a little bit more realistic if the, the car is bigger. And of course, with a bigger car, we're going to need a bigger, uh, bigger road as well. This one I like to trim up here a little bit. So we can go back at the end and and, and change our track around if we want to. Uh, but this is ultimately what we're looking to uh, to do. So something in, in this type of shape, I put the little bend in here, you don't have to if you don't want to, you can have just a regular you know, Indy 500 track going around. But um, however you want to do it, of course, there's a lot of variation, but this is the way I'm going to do mine. All right, so we have our track and we are good to go. So we are going to go now and try to find a car to put into this thing. If you go to the search and you try to find a car, uh, all of these are going to be a, a profile view or looking at them from the side right with our, our city bus and, and all these things in here so th those were good if you went through our Frogger tutorial because Frogger we're looking at everything from the side but for this we're looking we're looking down at the top right so we want our, our, our top view of the car so you can draw one out if you want to uh, if you go into paint obviously we can we can make our own sprite and, and make our car looking at it from the top what I think is kind of cool is to just go to Google and search uh, car clip art and if you want to even make it a little bit easier for yourself, again, these are profile views. We can do top view. Right, and this gives us, if we go into images, uh, a lot of really great cars that we could use. Uh, because I am a father of three, <laughs> I am using the minivan. So when I go to minivan right here, I'm actually just going to download this thing or, or, or save the, uh, the image on my desktop. So I'll do save as on my desktop. And I'll just call it the minivan. All right. Once I have the minivan saved on my desktop in a nice convenient spot, uh, I'm going to go back to my game here, and I can actually upload. And if I'm looking at my desktop, we're going to find the minivan. All right. So we'll bring that right in here. Now. If you search around and you find a different image that has the white border around it, you're going to have to remove the background. 
I'm not going to go through how to do that in this particular tutorial. There are other tutorials online or you may already know how to do that. Uh, but if you do find an image that has the white border around it, you want to get rid of that right now at this point because it's going to look really bad when you're trying to drive around and, and that, that white border is always going to be there. So this graphic is our sprite. And um, yeah, we'll go ahead and call this thing the minivan, which actually it already is. So it already imported the name. All right, it's a little big right now. Let's bring this thing down to maybe 15. That looks pretty good. And uh, we're going to have this thing driving uh, around our track. So again, for this tutorial, we are going to look into just getting this thing to drive forward, and then we'll stop and we'll move on to tutorial number two. So if I go into my costumes, uh, I'm gonna hit my convert to vector thing here. Uh, that makes it so I can edit this a little bit better um, because I imported it as, as an image. So now it is a movable image. I'm gonna flip this thing horizontal, and that way it's pointed the way I want it to go. All right. So in our code, which is where we're going to be putting most of our stuff, uh, we are going to start off with our event. And we'll say when this thing is clicked, I always want it to go right here to this starting position. All right, so we'll just make that be our reset to go right here to where we want this thing to stay. All right, we also, because we're going to be changing our directions around, uh, we're going to want this thing to always point in this direction 90. Remember, 90 means it's pointed this way, right? This would be zero. 90, 180, 270, but we always want it to be pointed in 90 here, so it's going uh, straight down the track to, you know, to it's pointed in the right direction for where it's starting. All right, so now at this point, we're going to introduce our speed variable, and uh, we're going to code this thing, so when I hit the up arrow, it's going to start moving. So we're going to introduce now, make variable, and call it speed. Okay. Eventually we will get rid of this, but we'll leave it up there for now because it'll help us understand what we're doing uh, as we're coding. So now we will say forever if our up arrow is pressed, we are going to increase our speed by a certain amount. And I believe I use for this, I use 0.2, right? Make that a little bit easier to see, right? 0.2. All right, so we're increasing our speed by 0.2. And also in the beginning, every time our flag is checked, we're going to uh, set our speed to zero, all right? And one other thing we're gonna have to do in here as well is uh, whenever our flag is clicked, we also want this thing to move a certain amount of steps which is going to be what speed is. So forever, we're always going to move a certain number of steps. And we'll always call it speed because speed we're gonna play around with. We're gonna increase it and decrease it with our arrow keys depending on what we want for playing the game. So in here, we'll just take our speed variable and put it right in there. All right, so let's see how we did. So now we're gonna hit our up arrow and our car begins to move forward. Back to the beginning. Now we're moving forward. Cool. All right. So to make this thing behave a little bit more like a car, more like a racing game, we can actually say, we want to set a limit on this. And we want to say when we get up to a certain speed, we want to maintain that. We want it to give the uh, illusion of accelerating. But when it once it gets up to a certain top speed, we want it to just maintain right there. So uh, as you can see, the speed we get up to is about 12 or so. I think that's a little fast for this game. Uh, just from all the, the, the coding and making this game that I did, um, I'm gonna set my top speed at five, but of course it's your game, so you can make yours whatever you want it to be. So I'm just gonna put right in here that if our speed is ever above five, uh, we just want it to maintain that speed of five. So we'll go into our operators, and we're gonna say here that if our speed is ever above five, then we just want to set our speed to five. All right, so we'll try this again now. So I'm gonna hit my up arrow and that sets my limit right there at five, right? You can see it right up here at the top, right? So as I go forward, we're gonna set our speed to five and that's where we're gonna stay. So we accelerate and then we stay right there at our top speed. All right, so now we're gonna do the uh, 
now we're going to do the, the braking system, I guess we can call it. Or when we hit the down arrow, we want this thing to stop. All right. So I'm going to just duplicate this here. And we're going to do down arrow. We're going to change speed by a negative amount. Now stopping is going to stop the car faster than accelerating. So uh, when I was doing all the coding, I'm, I'm, I've already normed this to, to find a good uh, measurement here, a good variable. 0 0.4 is about what we want to have to have this thing stop all right so if i click go here we're going forward and we stop all right now we run into a problem <laughs> where uh, it's making our speed go negative and it's going to bring our car backwards it's stopping the way we want to which is good but we want it to stop at zero so now we'll set another limit right in here we'll say if speed is less than zero then set speed to zero uh, we don't need to have another one of those. So we'll just have this and we'll say if speed is less than zero, then we're gonna wanna set our speed to zero. And let's see how that does. Perfect, right? So I'm holding my down arrow key right now. It's stopping and if my speed is less than zero, it's, it stops it at zero. Um, if you're having trouble right here and you have these codes say over here in this, you're gonna run into some issues. Uh, I guess the short explanation would be, um, it takes processing time to set our limits, and then have our move speed steps process those, um, those limits. If we put it before it over here in the same loop, uh, it stops it before it even gets to that point. So if you duplicate what I have here, your car should be reacting the same way. And uh, I guess just the, the long and short of it is it does make a difference if we have it over here or we have it over here. Okay, I think we've covered enough for right now. I'm going to stop it here, let you get up to this point. And uh, in the next tutorial, we'll talk about having our car coast to a stop and give it some directional capabilities.